honor of the holiday season, last episode, I built a giant gingerbread house. And that got me thinking, I want to do it again. Well, not like another gingerbread house, but some other kind of festive build. So today, we're going to build a giant snow globe village. All in Minecraft hardcore. This build is going to knock your socks off. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Let's get to it. Okay, here's the same snowy tundra where I built my gingerbread house. So I'm thinking we build the snow globe somewhere around here. How big should a snow globe be? Ooh, giant castle. As a matter of fact, I think it'd be so cool to build a snow globe right next to a giant ice castle. So I think right up here will suffice. Terraforming time. Okay, I'm not sure how big the snow globe needs to be. Oh, well, hello there, sir. Where did you come from? But how you doing? Long time no see. What do you got for me? Eh, nothing too good. Oh, no, he despawned. Hey, stop spitting at me. Oh, no, they also despawned. Oh, I hate this game. It's so tragic. Where was I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, I may have underestimated the size of this thing. Oh, jeez. And about one hour later, and half a netherite shovel, we have a nice foundation for our snow globe. I quite literally had to move mountains to make this thing work, but the mountain's out of the way. Now we can begin working on the snow globe. Ooh, side note, I hope it snows here, because this stone is pretty ugly. But carrying on. So when I picture a snow globe, I imagine there being a nice wooden handle around the base of it. So let's grab some spruce wood from this here forest. Thank you, Mother Nature. I appreciate you. <gasps> Guys, look. Oh, it's a snow fox. Those things are super rare. Hello there, friend. Oh, you're so adorable. Hi. You have a great day. I'm a little busy right now. Okay, so we're actually going to use oak wood on the bottom layer and then raise it up by like two more. Wait a second. <laughs> Why is there a polar bear in a cave? Stupid nature. Oh, uh, I'm out of wood. I'm like six blocks short. Come on, lazy Farzy. Do I have anything in these old shulker boxes? Bingo. Thank you very much, Farzy, who never cleans anything. I love you so much right now. Now we're going to stack some spruce wood up on top of the oak wood and then strip it so it looks a little bit lighter. And hopefully this thing looks good. And yeah, I like that. And of course, how could I forget making a nice snowy floor for the snow globe? This is absolutely a must. Well, I must be stupid because I have like no snow. BRB. This is taking a very long time. Oh, that might be a little bit easier. Hello there, beautiful. Oh, yeah. And perfecto. Hey, would you look at that? It's even snowing. Ooh, pretty. So the snow is down. But you gotta remember, it's called a snow globe, not a snow platform. So we still got a very big job to do. So obviously, I built the wooden base, but I still had to make a giant glass dome on top of that. And if I could figure that out, I then could build a village inside of the dome. A totally perfect plan. Plan. Okay, so we're gonna need to get a lot of glass. Like, a ridiculous amount of it. So follow me. Ah, uh, should I do it? I, I need food. I'm sorry. I just need food really badly. I know, I'm nasty. Let's see how much glass I have in the old chest room. Hello there. Glass would be over here, and we have... Oh my gosh. Why do I never have enough blocks to do anything? I'm like the least prepared YouTuber of all time. Wait, unless... What if we use white glass? Because I know I have a ton of that. Like... A lot. L like a lot, guys. Like a lot. I say we go for it. See, sometimes being lazy is a good thing. Yeah. I also should probably go get some more food because I've been eating rotten flesh for a while now. Sorry about that. Oh, hello there, villagers. Who would like to trade me some golden carrot? You, sir? Thank you. All right, let's do this thing. Okay, so how should I make a dome shape? Let's start off with a little bit of glass here at the bottom. Then we're gonna go one block up, one block out, and bring this thing all around. And pretty much, we just do this over and over and over. Seems easy enough. Uh-oh. Oh, no, I'm out of glass already. And I'm not even close to being done. Oh, I'm terrible at math. Kids, stay in school. Well, I did say I needed a ridiculous amount of glass for this build. I just didn't think it was that ridiculous. But if you know Farzy, he won't give up. Well, usually. But definitely not today. So we're gonna take a trip to my redstone-powered sand farm. Just hop right down here. And here we are, the beautiful machine. So I think I just take some of this sand right here, and I smack it right there, and I smack the lever, and yeah, that's how it works. Now we go inside the portal. Ah, uh, and there we go infinite sand being shot into the hoppers and now we wait and as i wait for the sand please subscribe and hit the bell all right this better be enough sand literally seven shulker boxes and if it's not i'm quitting this build and while i'm here let's take a little pit stop at the old enderman farm because my shovel's about to die hello there gentlemen and ladies 
and we're out of here. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, mistakes have been made. Mistakes have been made. I totally forgot to turn off my sand farm. Go off, go off, go off. And I've heard if you keep it on for too long, it can crash your game. Ah, uh, fingers crossed, please. Please don't crash. Please don't crash, please. Please, we're good. We're good. We're okay. Oh, I panicked there. That was almost really bad. Now I just gotta take all this sand and turn it into glass via my smeltery. Take all of it, please. Now we wait again. I hate being patient. So I flew back to the snow biome and began building the biggest glass dome you'll ever see. Ah, stop it. I hate you, stupid winter skeleton. But all right, there we have it. A ginormous glass dome. And also a cute little doorway to leave. Even though I probably should make a staircase here later on. I don't think this is very helpful right now. Oh, and you again. Uh. <laughs> Oh, and one more thing. I'm gonna smack some fences here because I don't want snow to collect on the sides. And oh my goodness, would you please stop this madness? I hate Minecraft. <laughs> That's it. I'm becoming a Roblox YouTuber. Forget this. But putting aside all that drama, it's officially time for the fun part. It's time to build a giant Christmas-themed village inside of the snow globe right after I get a new totem because I don't feel like dying today. I'll be taking one of you. And there we go. So in my opinion, the most efficient way to build a village is to make a giant floor plan out of wool. I just find it very helpful. So let's grab some of this. Excellent. And let's map this thing out. I'm thinking a house here, a house here, big building over here. I think you guys get the idea. Excuse me. You're making Farsi very angry. I need a bed. I'll just borrow this one in front of the gingerbread house. Excuse me. Please stop it. Ah, stupid spiders. I'll just make my own bed. Okay, I think that will be good enough. It might look a little cluttery right now, but I think we can make this work. But now it's time to turn this giant outline into a real village. We're on to phase two. Or wait, that's phase one. That's phase two. We're on to phase three. Counting is hard sometimes. So my goal is to fill up the snow globe with a bunch of Christmassy themed buildings. So we gotta create the perfect block palette. And I'm excited for this part. So let's start with the most Christmassy colors we know. Red, green, and white. But recently I've been learning about building and I've learned it's really good to have multiple textures of the same color. That way the buildings have way more texture and variety. So what can we use here? Hmm. All right, I like that. We got our reds, our greens, our whites, and our accent blocks. Now it's time to go collect the blocks. All right, first up, red blocks. Give me some netherrack and some mangrove wood. <laughs> Can't reach it. Aha, that's much... Mm, take two, that's much better. There we are. Oh, little baby. Oh, where's your parents? Oh, did I kill them? I'm so sorry. You're dead too. Oh, oh the parents are there. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Your, your kid, he despawned. Okay, bye. Next up, we need some green blocks and this is really easy. I just need some leaves. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Easy. Now, ladies, gentlemen, Farzy fans far and wide, follow me down to the caves because we have to go get some white blocks. And I already see what I'm looking for. Block number one, diorite. Oh, that mine's really slow. Oh, beacon. Hello there. And that's much better. I love speed. It's the best. Brr. Now, there's actually another white block I want, but it's a little bit rare or not rare at all. I won't complain. But here it is. It's calcite. Oh, no, don't do no. Don't do it. Parkour. 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 And I just gotta find one more. Aha! Stupid witch trying to guard it from me. You can't guard anything. I am unguardable. Stop, 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 stop. Can you guys stop ganging up on me? Okay, that's it. I've had enough. I've had enough of this. I need to make a new bow. I'm so sick of this stupid trident. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you. And we hop in here and we enchant it. And boom. Eh, that kind of stinks. But have no fear. I can try again. And a few minutes later, we have this. The mobs will stand no chance. Okay, we have most of our blocks, but I'm still missing just a couple more things. For one, I want to stop here at the dark oak forest and get some of this beautiful dark oak wood. Oh, look at that. An intruder. Whoop! You're dead. One shot. Take that. Farzy one. Minecraft zero. But yeah, this wood seems like the most Christmassy themed wood, if you ask me. So I'm gonna use it. And last but not least, I need to get some clay from these rivers because I want to make a whole bunch of bricks for chimneys. Wait, I need to use not silk touch. Uh, I have a diamond shovel that has no fortune on it. Is that wasteful? I don't even know. Yeah, who cares? You can do dumb things when you're this pretty. 
And I'm happy to say, I think that's all the blocks we need for now. Dang, dang, stupid water zombie. Die. Okay, it's time to go build the first house. And I guess we'll start right here. I really hope this goes well. So let's get rid of the wool here. And let's have a base of diorite and some calcite. Then throw in some spruce wood. Yeah, this could probably work. We'll use some dark oak for the roof. And we'll cover the roof in tons of red blocks. And last but not least, we gotta add in a bunch of cool wooden details. All right, this thing looks good. We got the nice white blocks, the red on top, and the wooden trim. Now, to the average person, the build's all good. But as I said earlier, I've been practicing my building skills, so I got a few more tricks up my sleeve. Why waste an empty wall like this when you could make a giant chimney? Put a little fireplace up here. Ow. Trap doors around the side. Ow. This is so painful. <laughs> and voila. Look at that chimney. And on the other side here, we can have a little fun and make a little Christmassy garden. So we do a little bit of this and sprinkle in some Christmassy blocks. And there we have it. One Christmassy house down. I hope you guys like it because I worked really hard to make this thing look really just like cool and textured and just like a really good build. So that being said, let's go build a few more. So yeah, I spent the rest of my night building these little houses for the future villagers to live in. And they better appreciate it because I spent way too much time perfecting these. But all right, this place is looking so good. I love these. I feel like I'm about to see Ebenezer Scrooge in here somewhere. Are you guys too young for that reference? Uh, I feel old. Now, I'm not really sure what to put inside the houses yet. I guess I'll just smack some beds in there and call it a day. All right, sweet. But now that the basic villager houses are out of the way, I want to build something a little bit more grand. And I think I have a good idea. This may come out terrible, but I kind of want to try building a giant church. I feel like that'll fit the scene really nicely around here. So we go like this, go up here, blah, blah, blah. And... You know what? I kind of like it. It's not perfect by any means. Mostly because it's kind of hard to build a church in this style, but I really do think it's cute. We got the cross on top, got a tower in the back, got a little fire pit over here. I'd say it's pretty good. Let's just throw in some seats and a small little altar. And there we go. Well, all right, guys, we are making such good progress already on this thing. Uh, what the... It's sunlight! Zombies! Why are you here? I'm so confused. Well, what I was saying was, I think these are all the normal basic buildings I wanted to build today. So now, here comes the fun part. Now I get to build all my fun Christmassy ideas to make this whole village come to life. I mean, it's already sick, but I have so many more ideas, trust me. But before that, I gotta talk about something really important. So if you guys are new here, every episode, if the video gets a certain amount of likes, I do some fun challenge. It's like our little tradition. But recently, I was all out of ideas. So I asked you guys if you had any suggestions and you gave me so many good ideas. So that being said, if this video gets 10,000 likes, I will survive an entire day underwater. I don't know about you guys, but I like air. So this may not go well. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But yeah, like the video. Okay, let's get back to the fun stuff. Ooh, actually, I should probably fix this ugly cliff. I kind of forgot it looked this bad. There we go, that looks a lot nicer. And while we're here, let's make a proper entrance to actually get into the snow globe. And there we go. Okay, so the first thing I want to add to this town is to make a little ice pond right in the center. That way the villagers can go ice skating and they can go sightseeing on the pond. Okay, what's the kind of ice that doesn't melt? I think it's this one, right? Uh, where's the ice? Ah, that's the wrong pickaxe. Oopsies. Aha, there we are. There we go. Bro, every time I come back in here, there's more zombies. How is this possible? Is there like a zombie spawner under here or something? Hello, housekeeping. Oh, hello. I think I found our zombie problem. And far as he said, let there be light. As he gets chased by a pack of spiders. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Aha. Take that, arachnophobia. But seriously, I'm terrified of spiders. Ugh. So let's make a big hole and let's fill this sucker up with ice. And that looks very boring and basic. Hold on a second. Far as he has a brain. And it may have just gave birth to a really good idea. I'm going to build this thing one lower. Then we take some snow carpets. Is that what they're called? And we'll make some little snow banks around the side of the ice. Oh my gosh. It's perfect. Come on now. My brain is pregnant with good ideas all the time. That sounds weird, but it's accurate. Nice. Oh, hello, little Enderman. Are you surviving in the snow? Bro, snow is water. Snow is water. You are not very smart, are you? You're dying in the snow. Oh, no, I'm dying in the snow. Okay, fine. Ah, do what you want. Do what you want. It's fine. Uh, okay, next up, follow me over to this empty area where the green square is. And I think it'd be cool if the town had its own little Christmas tree out here on display. Now, I actually built a Christmas 
Christmas tree just last episode right inside of my gingerbread house. So let's do something kind of like this, but maybe a little bit bigger. Let me just grab some spruce leaves. Thank you. And let's see if we can pull this thing off. Oh yeah, that's probably big enough, I think. This thing is actually like massive. I didn't even realize it until I got down here. Well, I'll take it. I do wonder though, can I smack like some decorations on it maybe? Like that, like that, like that, like that. Eh, I mean, it definitely could be better, but it adds some color to it. So I guess I'll keep it for now. Let me just grab one more decoration. If I have any anywhere. There we go. We got the end rods. They're a nice little decoration. Oh, and they sparkle. Looking a lot better. Oh no. No, I was just home and I forgot the most important decoration of them all. This is a worthwhile pit stop. If you fly down to an ocean and you grab a little bit of kelp for yourself, you can then smelt them and craft those smelted blocks into dried kelp blocks. And they look just like a Christmas present. You see, it's like wrapping paper, the little bow on top. It's absolutely perfect. Now we can smack some presents underneath the Christmas tree. Okay, we're having some issues here. Mobs are just... Bobs are just spawning. They're spawning a lot, as you can probably tell. And I don't know why, because I have the area lit up, I think. I, it looks lit up, doesn't it? I guess it's not. Grinches, you're ruining Christmas. But the issue is, I think light melt snow, and I don't want that to happen because I like these things. They look so cool. Oh, maybe not. It's not melting yet. Ah, oh, it melted. I don't really know what to do. Oh, wait. Big brain Farzy alert. Maybe they're spawning so much because they're not spawning down here. So what if I take away all these torches, then they have to spawn below and not above, leaving me and the villagers safe. I can't see anything going wrong here. And worst case scenario, we bring in Big Larry. And I know he's hungry for zombies. Oh, I said zombies. I said zombies. Not Farzies. Zombies. There's a clear distinction. But carrying on, I continued building tons of cool Christmas theme builds in the Snow Globe Village. Bro, I am simply just trying to build a Christmas village. Would you please knock it off? Thank you. But okay, we got some new additions, like a few more buildings, some wells, some cool hunks of ice every now and again. Just a few things to make it look a little more lively. But I'm currently working on a little cool project right here in the center. I added a little gazebo slash tent thing, and I want to make some gardens under here. So my plan was to go get some of these flowers and just smack these down. But then I thought, these don't really fit well in this whole Christmassy area. Also, you can't place flowers on snow. But I have a better idea. If I just fly into the forest, I'm looking for something. Come on, baby. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Ruined portal in the snow. That's interesting. What do you got for me? A mending gold sword. That's interesting. I guess I'll take it. But that's not what I had in mind. I wanted some of these bad boys. Check it out. Berry bushes. They look so crisp. Christmassy, they are the perfect thing for this build. So let's try a little bit of these. Bone meal them up. And one more thing. These bad boys. And there we go. That looks really fitting. Ah, but I still can't place these on the snow. I want to put something on the ground too. Uh, and it's killing me. I want to put something here. <gasps> Unless... Wait here. Trust the process. I promise you it's gonna work. So we plant this down and we wait. And they're gonna turn white like it snowed over plants. I am a genius. If I wasn't a Minecraft YouTuber, I would have a very smart person job. I'm sure of it. Now we just gotta make the roads. Oh man, I am loving our progress today. We are killing this build. And perfect. Uh, okay, not perfect. There's still a big mob problem here, man. And I really gotta solve this, like, right now. And I think I know who can help us. Inside this house resides my good friend, Broderick the Chicken Scientist. Hello, Broderick. How you doing? See, I have an issue regarding lights and snow and melting the snow, so can you help me out here? Uh, Broderick, why do you have a trap door on the floor? That's kind of weird. What the Broderick? What is going on? What is this place? Broderick, what did you do? Why is there a giant science? laboratory down here. And how did you build all this? I underestimated how good that chicken is at building things. Now what am I saying? Broderick, fix this. Clean this up. I don't want all this stuff here. Unbelievable. All right, that's it. Where is he? Broderick, what do you have to say for yourself? Oh, well, you know what? That actually would work. Well, okay. Thanks, Broderick. But you better get rid of that stupid laboratory, Broderick. I'm not kidding. If it's still there next week, I'll be eating cooked chicken for dinner. And I'm not bluffing. Okay, bye, Broderick. Oh, I love that chicken. But all right, I'm gonna take Broderick's advice. I'm gonna put some of these end rods down and they kind of look like icicles. Yeah. Oh, I actually love these. What a great idea. 
Oh dear, he's back. He's back. Uh, I'm just gonna back away. But yeah, I think we've lit up every area of this dome because I've seen no mobs yet. Well, besides the Enderman out there. But now that we've mob proofed the village, I think it's time to go fill this place up with actual villagers. So let's fly over this way because I know right over here near the ice castle, there is a little village right here. Oh, I see a guy. Hello there, sir. How would you feel if you moved over to the new snow globe city? I don't think he wants to join. No matter, we'll just use brute force. Let me just break your bed. Come on, follow the bed. Yes, sir. Keep coming this way. You know you want it. Ah, uh, yes, the art of persuasion. Uh, also, we should learn the art of how to kill your enemies with a sword. So many mobs. That villager, stay strong. I'm busy. Yes, come on, my friend. Right this way. And here we have the first inhabitant of the snow globe village. Oh, look at him. He's making himself all comfortable. My man. Now let's just grab one more villager. Uh, hello there, sir. If I can just push you off the edge, that'd be great. Oh, dang it. Uh, you didn't see that. Ah, uh, a fresh old village. Yes, right this way. This is actually taking forever, but it will be worth it. Ah, uh, they're going the wrong way. Why? The, the bed is that way. The workstation's that way. Where are you possibly going? I'm annoyed. Uh, I yelled at them. Now they're just walking towards the village. I'm not going to complain, but I think they got the message. And here's villager number two. Villager number three had a terrible accident. Now take some food and populate this here town. And about 30 minutes later, we got a whole family. I don't know why these guys aren't wearing their snow attire like him, but uh, whatever. Wear what you want. It's a free country. So I am a little bit afraid of zombies just walking in and killing my villagers. So I'm gonna close off this door. And that's much better. Now if anyone wants to come in or out, they gotta break through some iron bars. Perfection. Now I just wanna add a few final details. Specifically, I wanna add some more spruce trees around the place. Ladies and gentlemen, that is our finished snow globe village. Oh, wait, I forgot my shulker boxes. Wait. Oh my gosh. My poor snow globe. It's melting. Oh, I forgot to turn down the heat. Oh, the poor villagers. Oh, thank goodness they made it. I'm just kidding. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.